This is a large vortex style chiller I made a couple seasons ago out of a yard sale Coleman cooler that I think was three dollars. It's missing a handle, but you know who cares. Uh, spray painted black. The ice shelf here is a diffuser for a two foot by four foot like office light fixture. You have your inlet here, comes up, hits the lid, ice sits on this shelf, fog filters down to the ice, uh, enters the expansion chamber down here, and there is your exit. There's the exit right there. You know, basic vortex fog chiller design, just in a, you know, a different shape. So I'm gonna fill this up with some ice and we're gonna hook up a fogger to it and we'll see how it does. So I have added uh, 25 pounds of bagged ice to this, just regular cubes. Um, sitting on this ice shelf here, what I usually do, and I did in this one since you can't see, is I remove this ice shelf and I put one five pound bag of ice on the bottom. Just for a little extra, I usually either do that with the cubes or I freeze water bottles or I I've even used ice packs before, just a little extra, get the uh, fog that much colder. So we'll close this up, and go get the fog machine. All right, so we got my fog machine here hooked up. It is a Chauvet Hurricane 1302. This pipe right here leading into the inlet is something I had left over from a you know previous failed design of fog chiller and it just happened to fit perfectly. So if I want to keep that on there, I'll probably just spray paint this part right here and clean it up a little. It's been sitting in a shed. But this part isn't necessary. It's like if you want to sit your fogger on top of your chiller, add something like this. Otherwise, you just shoot the fog right into here. The fog fluid I'm using is Froggy's uh, Freezing Fog Juice. It's made especially you know, for low-lying applications, especially if, if you're going to run it through a chiller like I am. I used it on a smaller chiller the other day and I was very impressed. I like to think it makes a difference with the fluid you use. So this is all warmed up. Let's uh, see how it does. So, it's about 68 degrees here, uh, no wind, but clearly there's enough to send this flying. Uh, it's sticking a little bit there. I mean, I do understand there's a bit of a leak coming out of the top of that lid, but I mean, that doesn't really bother me much. Uh, so let's see, a bunch of it is pouring out. Got my handy thermometer here. Uh, 52, 53 on the output of that. Again, 25 pounds of ice. Let's hit this again. See how it does. I'd not be surprised if I get the fire department called on me here. Do another quick blast. That's a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit of a leak here, but like I said, you can tape it up if it bothers you. It doesn't really bother me. Yeah, yeah all these people going by probably think my house is on fire. But no, it's doing a nice job creeping there. Like I said, the air is kind of taking it, you know, up and away. But I'm going to try one other thing here and uh, see how that works. So uh, the second I stopped filming, the last second, my neighbor from across the street uh came running over and say, oh my goodness, you scared me, because I think she realized it was a fog machine right as she was, you know, coming up my driveway. 
but thankfully she embraces my, you know, enthusiasm for the holiday. Uh, so anyway, uh, to recap here, the thing I was going to try is I've had this, you know, corrugated drainage hose for two, three years. There's holes drilled in it every 12 inches, every foot. There's a hole right there. I think they're half inch holes. Uh, what I do is I, you know, butt it up right, right against this, but I never have much luck with it. It seems like the fog only wants to, you know, go down about halfway and most of the fog will come out right where it butts up to this output. Now I've never taped it, but perhaps taping it would make a difference. And I've heard of people, you know, stuffing these with frozen water bottles, stuffing them with ice cubes. Uh, that's something I can try too, maybe at a later time, but for right now, I think I'm going to wait till sundown and try this again because the forecast says uh, wind speed is calm, which usually means there's no wind and the temperature will drop a little bit more. So maybe we can get a, a better display of this chiller. Hopefully my ice lasts. All right, well, we're here a couple hours later. Um, rained a little bit, just very briefly. Temperature's dropped about six or seven degrees. It's about 60 degrees out right now. I can see my breath, but I just think it's due to the humidity. Uh, Cause it's not that cold, I'm in shorts. Uh, so the ice has melted a little. I poured some water out of it. I kind of shook the ice up. So I can't guarantee the results here, but there's zero wind. So I'm hoping that uh, the fog will kind of creep and stick to the ground a little bit better. I've turned down the output on this a little bit. So let's see what it does. We'll give it a couple seconds here. see it creeping past my gravestones there get some lights out again no wind about 60 degrees apologize this isn't the best video but it's sticking to the ground like glue and rising slightly most of this stuff over here is just the stuff leaking out of the top of the, the chiller. But the light you're seeing right now is from my headlamp. Yeah. Cemetery stretches away and I'm on a hill, so my ideal effect right here is to have it rolling down the hill. I'm gonna hit it again. The hang time on this freezing fog juice is nuts. So you can see there, it's really rising high now. Try to, I just don't think it's cold enough because the ice melted. But plan on buying some dry ice on trick or treat and that'll keep it nice and cold and I will take another video. You know, the stuff that's just kind of falling out of the chill right now is sticking to the gra grass like glue. But, alright, till next time, thanks for watching.